is your tour guide into the market futures. Want to see into the future? Well, climb aboard Larry's Time Machine and come with us. Larry takes your phone calls now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. This is the Futures Hour. Here's your host, Larry Pesavento. Okay, good afternoon, folks. If you have any questions, call in 877-927-6648. And today on the Commodity Show, we're going to cover three things uh, very thoroughly. Uh, first, we're going to look at Treasury bonds. We're going to look at the long term, and then we're going to look at the shorter term, because I believe we have something uh, very significant uh, getting ready to play out here in the Treasury bonds. We'll start with the Treasury bonds. And for the Tiger TV folks, I put in the long-term 30-year bond chart that goes back to 1981 uh, when we bottomed uh, back in October of that year. And I think interest rates at that time on the bonds was around 13 percent, um, pretty close to that. And um, T-bill rates, actually I think the bonds were 16 percent. Yeah, they were because they were trading at under 50 and it had an 8 percent coupon. So it was, they were, Treasury bonds were yielding 16 percent, T-bills were 13 percent. And tax-free muni, tax munis uh, in California were about, uh, I think, 14 or 15 percent. But those tax-free municipal bonds were called away about two years after you bought them because uh, they were able to buy them back, and um, you didn't get that interest rate after that. Got all your principal back, plus some nice interest, but they did get called away from you. Um, the, the main thing that we want to be watching here in this bond thing is this is going on for a long time. We've had lower interest rates which has led to all of these uh, excesses that we have in the housing market and many other areas. And um, so that should be ending, uh, you know, relatively soon. The The question is, is when will it finally end? Well, no one knows the answer to that, folks. But we do want to keep an eye on the bond chart, especially where we are now in the daily chart. And the reason for that is, is that there is a, a long-term cycle that's been going on uh, since February. It's been going about uh, not 10, 10 months right now. And what's happened over the last 10 days in the Treasury bond market, if you get a chance uh, to take a look at this chart, uh, for the last 10 days we have come up in the Treasury bond market and it hit the 61% retracement of the move from October to November. That was six weeks. Then we went up very quickly and we've gone absolutely sideways uh, for 10 days. And eight of those 10 days, the market has gone up and hit the exact 61% retracement at 42.18 with just within a, just a few ticks or two. Now, what's usually when something like this happens, and the pullback was only 38% from the, the low that we made on October 30th, then that tells us that we might be setting up for a parabolic move that would take us up to this 149, 151 area that we've been waiting for for so long. Now, the last time we had something like this happen was in the gold market when we consolidated at that 15. Uh, 75 to 1590 level for about seven or eight days, uh, you know, way back before it took off on its parabolic run. So this could be the similar type of situation. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying technically it has that probability of doing that. On the last retracement, you know, we came down and we stopped exactly at the 382 retracement, and we stopped exactly at the 50% retracement. And then on the rally back up, we stopped exactly at the 61% retracement. Then we backed off to the 382 and have hit the Fibonacci number 8 out of 10 days within a, uh, you know, within exact tick or so. I mean, it's really amazing this tight range it's in. Now, it could also break out to the downside, and that could be the top of the market. We don't know that. But right now, the odds favor that this has one more leg to go, and that could take us up to our big picture high of that 150 level. We just have to, uh, you know, wait and see. So this is the main thing that we have to be watching in bonds now. A breakout would be a close above 143, about a point from where they are right now. And, of course, as most of you know, it's tied very closely to the stock market and the U.S. dollar and all the things that we're looking at. Now, we had a cycle date come in on the 16th, and the market made a high at that point, and we've been down, you know, just for uh, the part of the 16th yesterday because it sold off so so rapidly. And then uh, today we're down, you know, basically about even. There's really not much going on, but we'll have to uh, just keep an eye on what's what's occurring. The U.S. dollar index has held that level at uh, 
Uh, we haven't gone above it. The euro has not gone below the 133 level. And so the U.S. dollar is at the moment of truth here very, very closely also. So I'm suspecting there's going to be something come out that make these markets move, you know, very, very dramatically. You have to really respect a market like the Treasury bond market that's been in a strong uptrend and then stays there and consolidates for 10 days within a, uh, you know, two-point range at the 618 level. You, you don't want to be short that market uh, without a very, very close stop. Okay, we got a call from... Um, Fran in Boynton Beach, are you there? Yes, I am, Larry. What How I, are you? Just fine. What can I do for you? Yeah, I just had a question about the corn December futures. I, you know, you see the move for today? Uh, I have actually, but believe it or not, I have been focusing on three markets. Well, actually, four markets: gold, silver, and uh, crude oil, and treasury bonds. So those four markets are the ones that I've been watching more than anything else. I know corn has sold off, but it hasn't got my interest right now because I think we've got a little farther to go to the downside. And that's really what uh, that's what I'm looking at. What I will do, though, is I'm going to put it into Tiger TV so the folks can take a look at this because we will have some really good chances, you know, to, you know, get get something done in corn here because, you know, it's been one of those things that has really, um, you know, acted very well for us on the cycles and things that we look at. So we'll just take a look at this. And, um, uh, you know, we're in November now, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching over to March corn pretty soon because this is the, um, by, by December 1st, we'll be looking at uh, March corn as a, a place to, uh, you know, get something done as far as buying or selling. But uh, really, I, I think we, Frank, I think we got a little bit more to go on the downside, maybe to um, the 618, which is another, oh, 13 or 14 cents lower. And then after that, I think you've got a pretty good chance of having some type of a buy come in at that point. So if you can be patient, it's coming down very quietly. There's, you know, th today's the first really bad down day over the last uh, several months, and, and believe me, that can be dissipated, uh, you know, very, very easily. So my guess is is to watch it about 30 cents lower. But if it gets down there too quick, then I would I would be a little bit more patient. Thank you very much. Don't look at don't look at this until. Why don't you give me a call on? Let's see, Monday. Yeah, we got Friday. Give me a call Monday, and we'll see where corn is. And uh, if that, you could just you know send me a message to check corn, and we'll look at it because. You know, we uh, we should stop around the uh, six ten to six dollar area, and then we'll take a look at it. It's a very technical picture. You know, it really is a beautiful one, and um, we might get another chance to buy it. Thank you much. Okay, thank you, Frank. Bye bye. You bet. It's one of those few times where I didn't look at everything uh, last night because I was so interested in what was happening with the uh, the bonds and the crude oil and all the things that, uh, you know, we're looking at. And what we'll do now is we're going to take a, uh, take a look at crude oil. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to um, go to the uh, long-term weekly chart in crude oil and give a little explanation in here because yesterday um, I got a lot of uh, complaints saying that I didn't do a very good job of explaining what I thought was happening in crude oil. Uh, when we went above that $100 a barrel level, which was the 61% retracement uh, of the last swing, I, uh, I said all I do is I go to look to see what happens, you know, on the long-term charts to see, you know, what could possibly be uh, making it go there. And what I did was I went back on the weekly chart that you can see in Tiger TV, and you'll see from 2009 to 2011, we rallied to exactly 707, which is the square root of 2. It's a reciprocal of the square root of 2. And on this last move right here that we just had, eight weeks up, we just made last night at uh, 103 and 26, and uh, the uh, actually 103.34, and the 707 number was 103.29. And since that time, we've backed off about three dollars um, a barrel. Now, I I I was very adamant about this. I really said that I thought this was a false breakout for so many reasons, and I'll show you them as we go through. One is the the North Sea crude it looks much much bearish. I mean, it is just it's totally bearish. It's just just no way you could be bullish this thing. The second thing is, and today uh, you had crude oil up two dollars and the North Sea crude down, and they're still the the, the spread. It just keeps coming in and coming coming in and coming in, and that, that's telling you that there's something wrong because uh, North Sea uh, crude is a premium, uh, premium oil. 
But anyway, when we hit that 707, uh, then I, you know, I said that's what we want to look at. And people say, well, you know, if you keep using all these different Fibonacci numbers, you're going to have some number that fits everything. And yes, I, I will agree with that. But basically, I only look at 618, 786, 127, and 1.618. The reason why it's important to f understand why markets go to, uh, you know, other numbers is because this is all geometry. You can almost you can almost find every particular uh, reason why a market goes to where it's going. You might not be able to trade it, but you learn something by knowing where it's going. There, I want to tell you a quick quick little story. 1988. I'm in Chicago at a trade show, and um, I happened to be the, one of the featured speakers there because my new book, Astro Cycles, uh, just came out and it won an award from um, the MTA is uh, you know the book of the year, whatever I forget what it was. Anyway, um, I was uh, standing out in the hallway, and one of my students from Austria who was there visiting came running up to me and he said you have to come into this room and listen to this man talk he said he's really got some interesting things and it's some of the stuff that you talk about so I walked into the room and there were about 200 people in the room and speaking was Bryce Gilmore and he was up at the front of the room and I walked into the back of the room he saw me I'd never met the man before and he said oh he said I'm glad you showed up he said why don't you come up here and sit at the front of the front of the room and, uh, of course, I had a lot of friends in there and uh, some probably some enemies, too. But uh, everybody had a big chuckle out of that. And he said, you might learn something. And I sat there, and for the next hour, hour and a half, he totally mesmerized me by, by showing me how all the ratios and patterns fit together and that you're able to find these things by looking at the numbers of the square roots of five and that particular thing, of which the 707 is one of those numbers. The reason why it's important is if you see it once, you might see it again. Uh, I mentioned this example uh, on the show uh, yesterday. Uh, during uh, 1988 or 89, uh, the corn market stayed at the 707 retracement numbers and 1.41 expansion numbers, which is reciprocal of that, uh, for exactly two years. And that's what, uh, you know, it, it was just amazing. 618, 127 did not work, but 707 and 1.414 work. So this is important because if we get above 103 now on a closing basis in the crude oil, then that's telling us that we're probably wrong. I, I said yesterday, I said I didn't think crude oil would be going, you know, straight up from here. And the reason why I said that, we, we were looking at a lot of different things when we were trying to do that. And one of the things that we were going to, to talk about was Brent North Sea crude. And uh, this is why it, it's, it's very, very important to take a look at this on Tiger TV, and you'll see the difference in this uh, of divergences that happened at major tops. It always happened during that time. And what it is, it shows the chart. Up. Oh, well, I'll, talk, I'll discuss this chart when we get back um, from the uh, commercial. And uh, then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about some of these other divergences that we're seeing because this could be a very, very important turning point in a whole lot of things. Are your cable rates rising? Tired of being pushed around by your provider? It's time to push back. Cut the cable and get Dish Network installed with absolutely no equipment to buy. Here's the best part. Packages start at just $24.99 a month for an entire year. That's right. Call now and get Dish Network installed free. Plus your choice of HBO, Cinemax, or Stars free for three months. If you call in right now, Dish Network will also throw in free HD for life. PMG Dish, a Dish Network authorized retailer, is waiting for your call and can have you watching TV as soon as tomorrow. Call 800-565. 8010. Imagine all your favorite movies, sports, and shows in crystal clear digital quality for far less money and you won't have to deal with the cable company anymore. At only $24.99 per month, they're practically giving it away. Call now for full details. Call 800-565-8010. That's 800-565-8010. Again, 800-565-8010. Limited time off for prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. 24-month agreement required. Cancellation fees, auto pay, and paperless billing and other restrictions apply. Call for details. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakouts gains. 
Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Hi folks, Steve Rhodes here. Tom O'Brien and I need your help. Together, let's change the cash for gold industry once and for all. Now is the time to unleash the game changer, and that's you folks. We've all seen the power of viral marketing, it's overthrown dictators, and now it's time to rid the thieves in this cash for gold industry. Together, we can change this industry in a heartbeat. You know about our industry-leading payouts, our free tools, our video valuation, and the education that we provide to help folks value their jewelry. Tom and I are experts and the industry's most trusted team. Please join us now by spreading the word to your entire email list give we'll pay you silver this holiday season tfnn and great panther silver want to give you the gift of silver from now until december 30th tfnn will hold a drawing once a day five days a week business days only and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks. Just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Action Shares. To learn more about tactical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Okay, folks, we're back, and um, we want to um, – sorry, I, I was coughing, and I, <laughs> I didn't get back in time. Um, we were talking about the, the chart of Brent C. Crude versus the crude oil, and I posted that into the um, Tiger TV, and take a look at it, because at the major, div major turning points, there's always major divergences, and the one that we just had was the biggest one of them all. So that's, uh, you know, very, very important that you take a look at that. Now, we're going to cover some of these other things, but we have a caller from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Are you there, Chris? Hello? Yes, Chris, are you there? This is Larry. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine, Larry. Hey, uh... Uh, yesterday, I've been trying to get into Doug, and uh, yesterday I noticed that uh, the uh, oil futures were up to $102, but yet at the same time, Doug was up about 50, 60 cents. So I don't, I don't understand that. Well, part of it, you know, Doug is is an oil and gas uh, stock thing, but you've got to, you know, with Doug, with Doug being up yesterday with the stock market down 190, I mean, you know, you don't want to be short. Uh, you know, the Doug, when when something like that is happening, because you had crude oil up and stocks, uh, you know, down, so it should have actually made this thing, you know, really collapse. And in fact, it did not do that, and it's made higher bottoms, you know, over the last few times. That's why we were discussing it. This would be a good way to, you know, do a proxy for, you know, getting short crude oil because the correlation was so very, very high. I, I know what you're talking about as far as the, the movement that it had yesterday because I happened to be uh, involved with that, uh, and it was really a, yeah, an amazing move because the stock moved 10% in the matter of uh, just about an hour and a half uh, into the thing, and then today it just barely backed off, uh, you know, with crude oil getting hit pretty good and the stock's doing virtually nothing. So this is telling you that people are looking this as a proxy for short crude. That's the only way I can understand it as the way that the way I see it right now if you want to buy it the best place to try to buy it if you can get a low risk buy would be around that 26 level um, you know twenty six dollars a share we're at twenty six ninety five right now but I I believe it has a possibility of going to thirty five so this is one of the things that I that I do like okay well I appreciate the information uh, one, one other thing I want to say Larry is that uh, a little over a year ago you had mentioned that that uh, you used to, to be a broker for uh, William Shatner, and I was just wondering, what kind, what kind of guy was that guy? Because I'm a truckie myself. What kind of guy was William Shatner? <laughs> He a really nice fellow. Um, he really was. He's just as normal and as funny and as uh, happy-go-lucky as you could possibly be. And not only that, but he was an incredibly generous person. He was just really a nice guy. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, the, the reason, the, the only reason I got to be his. Uh, 
uh, broker, and I only did a few transactions in gold for him, is that his boss, Gene Roddenberry, uh, who, you know, is a, the real Trekkie that's, you know, thought it all up, was actually my customer. His, his goddaughter was my secretary, uh, Connie Klein, and, and um, that's how I got to meet some of these folks. But uh, Shatner's a really nice fellow. Uh, I've only seen him, I think, twice since uh, I left. I saw him at the racetrack once, and I saw him someplace else at one of the parties that uh, someone was having. And, but he's a really nice guy. He's remarried and um, still in the, he's, he's uh, doing a lot of horse breeding now. But, uh, and he still does his commercials, and he's still got his price line, so he's doing really well. Well, I saw a, a, a documentary on him one time, and it said that after his first season with Star Trek, he was actually living in his van. He, didn't even, he couldn't even afford a house. He was living in his van. So I thought that was pretty incredible. Yes, I I agree with that 100%. He's he's a nice guy. He made it the hard way, and he's kept every nickel of it. And now he's he's just over a billionaire, I believe now. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Larry. Okay, thanks for calling in, Chris. Bye. Oh, great. And we're we're still on the crude oil, and we were talking about uh, you know why we're looking at this, and you know the divergence that were that we were having yesterday, and the whole world talking about the breakout. Uh, you know, gasoline futures, and uh, we talked about that yesterday, that being lower tops and lower bottoms, and we had a small rally in gasoline when crude oil hit the 102 level, and yet, you know, today gasoline is getting pummeled. So now you're really looking at, uh, you know, the things that you're, uh, you know, looking at to, to the downside. It looks, you know, quite, quite bad. So that's all I can say is that uh, it looks uh, that looks like crude oil has made, uh, pretty much of a, I think, a major top given the divergence that we're having here, and then the third, the third part of the um, equation that we're looking at was the heating oil, and I'll get back to the heating oil right after this message. Brian. If you want to get great trade setups and equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Homeowners, did you know a burglar could break into your home and get away in just five minutes? A locked door may not be enough to keep a thief out of your home. Think about what you can lose, and then think about this. Now you can get a free security system monitored by ADT, the leader in home security. Pick up your phone now and get free hardware, free medical and fire alert, and free activation. It's an $850 value. Just call Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, at 1-800-949-8207. You'll get 24-hour protection, and there's no cost for parts or activation. So call now about a free security system monitored by ADT. Call 1-800-949-8207. $99 installation charge. 36-month monitoring agreement at $35.99 a month. Call for terms and conditions to this offer and protect your home license numbers. Call now. 1-800-949-8207. That's 1-800-949-8207. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 
2,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Okay, folks, we're back in the last segment of the heating oil com or the crude oil complex that we wanted to talk about was heating oil. And we mentioned that it hit that 786, and it did not confirm that oil was breaking out to the upside. So you had multiple confirmations with Brent North Sea crude, uh, gasoline, and heating oil, all telling you that that was a potential for a false breakout. And the fact that it stopped exactly at that 707 number um, in that level, uh, that, would, that was very important. When I was at that meeting with Bryce Gilmore in 1988, um, we became very, very good friends. He ended up coming and staying with me in the trading house in California, um, you know, for many, many months at a time, three and four months at a time. He brought his family from Australia a few times, and we became very, very good friends. I'm still in contact with him to this day. He just fishes now. He does very little trading, maybe a trade or two in the morning, and that's uh, that's about it. But th that man has taught me more about the markets than anybody that's ever walked this planet with the exception maybe of Dr. Ruth Miller, who taught me about the, uh, you know, the astrology part. But actually the, um, the things that Bryce Gilmore you know, talked talk to me about were uh, the expansions and contractions of these ratios and how they all work together. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, how you look at it. He had a program called Wave Trader that was the best program that I had seen. The problem was he had, he had very little interest in it. And he didn't, you know, follow through with it very, uh, very well. He had Bob Miner uh, work on it for a while, and then when Bob uh, decided to go out on his own, you know, Bryce basically, you know, gave uh, gave up on it. Now, there, there I have to s t uh, set the record straight about something. I got one really vehement complaint about my uh, uh, talking badly about um, uh, Mr. Buffett. And, folks, I never said anything bad about Mr. Buffett. I said just be careful of what he says because what he says and what he does is not always the same thing that you hear in the news. I showed you that in the silver market. And remember, the people that are on there sometimes have self-serving interests. Now, Mr. Buffett has put a very large position on his first technical position ever in IBM. And I'm showing the chart in the Tiger um, TV today of IBM over the last 20 years from 1991 through where we are now and you can take a look at that when you get a, a shot to look at it it's basically a perfect AB equals CD uh, you'll notice the high up there was 192.64 go check what the high on IBM was and then it broke about you know nine or ten dollars from then and rallied back up one more time so you know that's all I'm saying is I'm looking at the technical picture of what these things are doing and not necessarily I mean you can't um, anybody that you know says anything disparagingly about Mr. Buffett is not playing with a full deck because that man has done a great deal for investing he does a lot for people uh, and don't worry uh, he's going to be just fine and I'm going to be just fine but believe me I would never said anything bad about uh, Mr. Buffett 
Now, we have to talk about the silver market, folks, because, you know, we've been talking, uh, you know, about silver for quite some time, and we mentioned that if the silver market was going to break that 33 level, that was going to cause big problems, and we did that today. That was the first time we broke a 61% retracement over the last four cycles. The last four lows and highs, or lows were exactly 618, and we busted that to the downside today with a very, very wide-ranging bar. Now, that is a, uh, a sign that, uh, you know, the trend has changed uh, to the downside, at least for the present. So, you know, you've got to try to understand how these cycles fit together because every time this low had been made since uh, the 26th of September, each of the lows were exactly 61%. There was one, two, three, four of those. And today was the first day that we broke below that, and that was at 33 you know, dollars an ounce, and now we're trading at 31 and a half. That's a $7,500, you know, difference uh, in, in the price of what you were looking at. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're looking at these, and we're going to cover silver a little bit more in depth uh, when we get back. 877-927-6648. gift of silver this holiday season tfnn and great panther silver want to give you the gift of silver from now until december 30th tfnn will hold a drawing once a day five days a week business days only and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier there's no contest and no gimmicks just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season go to the front page of tfnn.com for details are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm yeah, very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Okay, folks, we're back, and we were talking about the silver market. 
And those of you that are uh, very active traders, I, if you take a look at the uh, chart that I posted in here in the uh, Tiger uh, TV today, it shows silver uh, going back about six weeks, and it shows those 618 retracements. I blew them up so that you could see them, and the first two were so perfectly symmetrical. From the high to the low was the exact number in days and hours, because this is an hourly chart that I posted. And then you go back to the middle of October, we had the exact same number of hours and the exact 61% retracement, followed by another perfect 61% retracement. And those were three of the ones that we looked, about, looked at. So this is what we're, we're looking at when we're looking at harmony and time and, you know, trying to, you know, find a, a low-risk entry point, you know, when we're doing this. Now, we have to focus focus with something that's happening right now, folks, and that is the Treasury bond market. We talked about that bond market um, just when we, when we started the show, and we're going to have to revisit it because uh, we were talking about the breakout to the upside, and uh, we have certainly, uh, we've, we've certainly had that, and uh, we, are, uh, we broke above the uh, 43 level at least on, on a temporary basis. We've taken out the highs uh, that we made in November. Actually, we just matched those highs. So we're going to have to get just a tiny bit higher. Something around 43.16 would be what I would think would be the um, when it's really going to light up the candles over there on the bond pit. You know, the fact that we're down over 150 or 60 in the Dow Jones, uh, you know, means probably there might be another flight to quality. You know, so we'll have to, uh, you know, have to wait and see if that's going to, um, you know, be coming through. Remember, we had that cycle date um, that came in. You know, on the, on the 16th, we had that big rally into the high uh, yesterday, and now we've turned down. And that, I think, is um, going to tell us that we're about ready to, you know, get ready to move to the downside. And, and just keep an eye on those bonds because, you know, we really want to get those little things up to about the one uh, 150 area would be ideal. The other thing that's happening that I think is, is very significant, and that is the fact that the um, the crude oil, that uh, nobody thought had a chance of uh, ever doing anything has actually started to uh, come down now, and we're actually down below the breakout point. We're below the $100 uh, per barrel level. Now, people that bought that stuff yesterday are going to have to start asking themselves, you know, uh-oh, was this a false breakout? And I imagine if they were looking at the... Um, uh, you know, the the charts of the gasoline and all the other things, I, I just don't understand how anybody could have, you know, viewed that as a false break, you know, as a breakout. I mean, it was so clear, you know, it worked this time. You know, sometimes it doesn't work, but, you know, we'll see. At least we learn something for each from each one of these, and, uh, you know, that's the, that's the main thing, uh, you know, that we're looking at. We're going to have some bottoms coming in here. Probably it's some pretty good support levels in, in some of these uh, commodities. Uh, you have to be really careful trying to pick a bottom here in the silver uh, because that really wide-ranging bar is very ominous, folks. It's better to wait uh, a bar or two and pay higher up for it than try to pick a bottom, you know, in the silver. Those wide-ranging bars are, you know, they're really, um, they're death to traders if you try to, to fade that. It's like trying to catch a falling knife, and you just, you just can't do that. That's uh, one of the things that you just don't want to do. One of the three reasons that, you know, most people lose money is, A, they trade too much. They, they put too many trades on. Second, they put their stops too close. And most of them don't even understand what a wide-ranging bar is. But if you f just follow that principle that don't stand in front of that wide-ranging bar, you're going to save yourself a great deal of money. You don't have to catch a falling safe. You know, wait or try to catch a falling knife. Wait till the safe hits the ground and then, you know, let it go. Um, the um, movement in some of these uh, markets that we're having is, is uh, you know, quite important today because the volatility has increased a great deal. And uh, we're going to be very interesting if it continues because if it does, that tells us that we're coming out of this triangle, uh, this pennant that's been on uh, these charts uh, with a vengeance. And if you come out really strong with the Dow down more than uh, 250 points today, um, that would really be uh, a signal to me that, uh-oh, this is it. And uh, I'm looking for, you know, what I think is going to be a negative, um, you know, um, December. So we'll see. Okay, we got a, a question here from uh, David in uh, Florida. Are you there? Hey, Larry. How are you doing today, sir? I'm fine, David. What can I do for you? Got a quick question for you. Uh, first question here. Um, looking at you, I'm looking at you on Tiger TV. 
And I think I see this software. It looks like it's somewhere the same software that Steve and the other guys use. Is that what name of that software? Is that Ensign Words? Yes, that's uh, that's Ensign Software, and uh, they're out of uh, um, Idaho Falls, Idaho. They I've been with them for about 20 years when they first started it, and a lot of the things that uh, are in that uh, particular uh, software are things that they actually developed for me because that's uh, you know that's how I trade. And, uh, you know, that's really what, uh, you know, what I was doing, uh, you know, when I was doing this. So <laughs> they, they came down to see me many years ago to, to watch me trade, and they, they came for one day. They stayed for five days. And, David, I had probably the most incredible five days I've ever had trading, and they thought I did that all the time. I, for, to this day, they still think I do that all the time, and that's not the case. And, anyway, they built a lot of these for me, and, and they become very popular because I've trained a lot of people, and they use the same tools. These are wonderful tools. They're just technical tools of A, B equals C, D. Uh, the thing that it does is it draws these nice triangles that shows you the colors and the different days and stuff. You know, that that's all it is. There's nothing more well, than that. But it, it's the best of any of the programs for drawing these, that's for sure. That's when I've been noticing because I've been, you know, switched over uh, about a year, well, couple months back because i've been hearing tom talk about thinkorswim and you know and the whole nine and it's a don't go wrong but fabulous and i do mean fabulous trading platform but when it comes to charting in terms of you know just being able to look at expansions and you know do things in different colors so it makes it a little bit easier on the eyes to see um i've been noticing this you know watching you guys on tiger tv i'm just like man this is a phenomenal looking freaking software and i was just for the longest time trying to figure out what the ew stands for so if uh, a guy like me, a poor guy like me, wanted to get a copy of this, would it just be like a Google search for Anson or actually no, you right go, uh, First of all, you send me a check for $500, and then you uh, go to www.ensonsoftware.com, and they'll, it's $50 a month. Remember, it's a charting package. It's not a, uh, it's not a data feed. You have to get your data feed either from eSignal or Interactive Brokers or somebody like that. That's all. It's just a charting package. Stay with me, David. I think you had another question about the NASDAQ. As Tom says, go long, America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before December 31st from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's Support our local businesses, keep money in your community, and get a great education. But be sure to act now, because you have until December 31st to take advantage of this opportunity. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? 
David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio, therefore we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right, for a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and The Money Game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master and I'll teach you how. Go Long America. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. Before December 31st, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, before David hung up, he had a question about the uh, NASDAQ and basically it has uh... oh David are you back yes, sir, uh, Larry, how are you oh good you had a question about the NASDAQ <laughs> yeah yeah um, quick question for you I've been riding the NQs and uh, you know getting some guidance from you and, and Tom and Steve and the guys um, you might think I'm crazy for asking this question I really you might think I'm like totally nuts but here it goes this is what, I, what I'm seeing going on looking at the chart as of one o'clock or 1255 looks like on a daily the NQ is on a daily the a point looks like we just completed an ABC down from what I'm seeing here the a point was uh, November 9th the B point was the bottom of November 10th the C point is November 15th the D point today looks like we made a, a, a perfect ABCD down do you agree Yes, it has done that on a shorter-term basis. There's no question about that. That's why I mentioned that we must have a really strong move down because what we've done now is you've taken your ABCD off of the big D level. And if that big D is correct, that means you're going to make at least a 61% retracement of that CD leg, which would take you down a great deal. So yeah, this is one. This is a, an ABCD pattern that you're looking at. But remember... We have that really wide-ranging bar today. There's a lot of weakness in the market. Now, if the, if the market comes back, then it's going to be a, a pretty good place. You don't have to risk very much from this level if you want to, you know, to, to be a buyer here because uh, the risk is very, very small. It can't drop much more than where it is right now, or it's going to go a lot lower. That's what I was debating on because the thing is, on the one hand, the force is down. You know, there's, there's, you know, just from looking and seeing what's happened in the last couple of days, there's no denying that. But the flip side, too, is always like try to be the uh, the buyer or the seller when no one else is uh, doing when everyone else is doing the opposite. And the reason why I'm saying that is, if I could redirect you to October 12th again on the daily, October 20th rather, excuse me. The bottom of October 20th was uh, 2268. We're only a couple dollars away. We tested that with 347 dollars a contract. So far today, the volume as of about one is about 222 now. Odds are, here in another hour or two, the volume is going to pick up one way or the other. Um, what are, so you're saying that potentially it might be a short-term play retracement since we just completed an ABC down and we're potentially hitting that low of uh, 2268 on lighter volume. Am I thinking straight on that? 
Well, I, I know, but the thing that bothers me, uh, David, is the wide bar. I mean, we have an incredibly wide bar today, and I respect those. I would not do anything today, even though there's two, three hours to go. Uh, I would just stand aside and see what happens. If you miss the trade, they're gonna, it's going to come back one more time because remember now, the longs are shaken. You know, they, they've they've uh, they've had a little bit of their psychic damage. So anytime the market starts to uh, you know move down, there'll be more selling, and you get to buy it back on a on a retracement. But I would not I would not buy it today just because of the long bar. Yeah, well, that's what I was debating on why I wanted to get a, yeah. uh, another opinion on it because. This, yeah. To uh, Tom's point, King Dollar is on the move, and uh, King Dollar is running the show right now. Well, <laughs> King, like... King, yeah, it, it is running the show. There's no question about it. It still hasn't done a lot of damage yet because the euro's got to get below 133. And also keep an eye on the, the Treasury bonds because if we start moving above 143.16, we're going to have the bonds you know up a more than a point or so, and that could be uh, a launching pad because it's coming out of this – a whole lot of, uh, you know, uh, con consolidation for 10 days. It's hit the 61% retracement eight times. So I think you have to respect that, my friend. Yeah, there's a lot of cause built in the bond market for sure. Yeah. For sure. So okay. go, for, go for a walk, and if you miss a trade, you're okay. And if it works and, you're, it works and you didn't get in it, you can blame it on me, partner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Larry, real quick, like, before I know you got to go, how's your friend Dr. Noy these days? She's doing great. 88, still trading, has cancer, probably outlive all of her doctors. There you go. There okay, you go. Thanks, thanks a lot, thanks David. Call, okay, bye-bye. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters-Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is protected.